So today marks the beginning of the Kosafa Cup of Nations taking place in South Africa. So the first games that were played today were between Eswatini and Botswana, which ended in a new new draw. Then today's second match is South Africa versus Mozambique, which is the one I'm giving you updates upon. So I'm doing the voiceover to avoid any copyright strikes and to give you a chance to watch the game, even though you did not watch the game. So kindly do like, share and subscribe as we begin to do the commentary. So this was a tough game today because, uh, as I say, this is the first game of the tournament. The first uh, group games, which is Group A. And uh, so far, as the game ended, South Africa ended with one and Mozambique won, which means that uh, the group has one, 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 one points. With South Africa, I think, leading the group and Mozambique being second in the group. And Botswana and Eswatini. Now, this will be a tough group because South Africa now has to pay, play Botswana and Eswatini and any of the teams has a chance to go through the third round to, to, to qualify out of these group stages. Now, this was a very fantastic game and South Africa was the first to score as usual because South Africa was the dominating team and when they are going into this game, they who had the upper hand and Mozambique were the underdogs of this tournament or of this match. And as the game goes, you can see all the highlights that we have. Mostly it was South Africa attacking because they were at home first of all, which means they have the support at home. Also, because they are a better team than Mozambique. So South Africa has won the Kosafa Cup more times than Mozambique, who has zero at the moment. So the Kosafa Cup has been won by Zambia, I think, 11 times, then Zimbabwe eight times, South Africa six times, and... Uh, Madagascar once. So these are the only teams that have ever won the Kosafa Cup. And South Africa wants to add on to make it seven, you know, from the six that they already have. And this game was interesting. And South Africa was attacking for most parts of the game, even though it did not end with the result. So this was the first goal that was scored. It was a very wonderful goal put together. And this gave South Africa the chance and the zeal to want to score more goals, you know, because they are at home. The atmosphere supports them. Everyone thinks they're going to win. They think they're going to win. And there was nothing stopping South Africa. So they had a full team, very good team, very bad lineup and formation that they had. I don't know for some reason why it was like this. Because South Africa has got very formidable players. And this was happening. So this is how it scored once again. It was not an offside. They had to check to see if it was an offside. And Luckily, it was not an offside. The very good goalkeeper went the other way and the player was composed as he went down directly to score the goal, as you can see here. So, South Africa at this moment was one and Mozambique was zero. But uh, one thing that I like about Mozambique was the fact that even though they knew they were the underdogs, first of all, and they were away, they did not relent as they wanted to score goals as well. They wanted to show up and be uh, the better team. As you will see that after they scored their first goal, they wanted to attack even more now. Because coming in, they thought they were the underdogs and they couldn't win being the underdogs. But after they scored the first goal, they got to understand that no, we could actually win this and do better. So this is Group A. Tomorrow we will see Zambia uh, playing Kenya. And also Comoros will be playing Zimbabwe tomorrow in Group B, which will be very interesting. So this Kosafa Cup will turn out to be very interesting as we don't know so far who's going to win it but at the moment zambia are the d defending champions we are the defending champions and we hope to keep it as well this year because no no one ever wants to lose the cup once they've colonized it as we colonized so zambia is the real madrid of kosafa cup as you can put it because we have the most titles ever uh, for a team to have now south africa are wanting to take it up as well because we've been dealing them badly when it comes to the Copa Queens and the Copa Princesses. We've been winning all the games, but now it's time for them to pay back with the Kosafa Cup. But this team, I'm sure we're going to win. We'll see from how we're going to perform tomorrow. Uh, now, in the game here, I don't think Mozambique and South Africa have met many times. They have met quite a number of times, but not very, very much uh, as to tell Mozambique having a good experience with South Africa. So this was the first goal that Mozambique scored as well. So they equalized here and it was a very brilliant goal from very far. I actually like this goal because, you know, it was from very, very far out of the 18 yards and an equalizer from the underdog. 
it doesn't get a, get any better than that. So that is why I like the tournament so far. So these are the first two goals of the tournament uh, with the goalless game between Botswana and Eswatini. And uh, South Africa are here, here to, to a bad start in that many countries or many people were having higher expectations for South Africa seeing that they are playing from home. Which means, like I said earlier on, repeating here, they have the support, the fans are there. If you look at the stadium here, most of the fans are South African. Most people did not travel here to watch their teams. Most people are South Africans or maybe these people of Mozambicans who are based in South Africa. So here, South Africa had nothing against them. The stadiums are theirs. They know how to play in the stadiums. Nothing they could complain about being bad on their side. The ref was very fair and here it just turned out to be a 1-1 for South Africa. We were quite disappointing result, but never relent. The game is still on. We are having the second game, they are having the second game and the third game. So here, if South Africa wins the next two games, they have qualified. And I think just by winning one game, definitely it will get them a spot into the next rounds uh, to qualify them out of the group stages. So the South Africa, after Mozambique equalized, decided to start attacking. And this is one thing I've realized about African football is that we thrive to avenge and not to keep a score, you know. What I mean is this, South Africa was leading and they lost it and now they want to avenge to get back that score, you see. They, they do damage control instead of avoiding the damage itself. In that they could have avoided Angola, uh, Mozambique calling, but they let it happen and now they were paying the price to try to attack and get it back, but they couldn't, as you can see. So, in this case, this is what it ended. It ended in a 1 1 draw between the two teams. So, kindly do like, share, and subscribe, and also follow the channel, the, the, the page, because I'll share it on Facebook and YouTube. So, follow you on YouTube and Facebook as well. This is Maxwell with Z Gambit. I wish you a wonderful day, afternoon, and evening. Bye bye.